Hello and welcome to this let's play of Prince of Persia. Well, I'm just going to play Prince and I hope you enjoy it. In the Sultan's absence, the Grand Vizier Yafar rules with the iron fist of tyranny. Only one obstacle remains between Jafar and a throne, the Sultan's beautiful young daughter. Marry Jafar or die within the hour. All the princess's hopes now rest on the brave youth she loves. Little does she know that he is already a prisoner in Jafar's dungeons. So welcome in this let's play of Prince of Persia. I'm uh, just going to play this game and uh, yeah. And maybe we'll find something nice to discuss, you know. You see, uh, let's play is not just playing games, it is also philosophizing. There, there's got to be uh, some easy way in which we can talk, you know, and for me, uh, that is what less playing is all about, you know, finding something easy in conversation <sighs> yeah, everything is uh, quite complicated I uh, I don't know I don't know what uh, life is all about, or uh, sorry, I'm s I don't know what the point of it all is. No, that's also not what I need to say. I don't know uh, what to do. Yeah. I'm just uh, let's playing because I don't know. I uh, I often get good ideas when I play a let's play. Today I feel really tired, uh, you know, I'm not in the zone for a let's play. I was listening to the Elton John 
radio playlist on Spotify, and it was already going to Don McLean on me, and, you know, I, I don't know what that means, you know, I don't care about Don McLean. I just want to uh, hang on. I don't know, maybe I should listen to Leonard Cohen again, I was thinking. I said something that reminded me of Leonard Cohen. That's what I'm saying, I often get good ideas when I'm less playing. Even when I'm not in the zone, but I need to keep talking, which is why it is so intimidating. Start a Let's Play. Anyway, my uh, weekend has begun today. I know it's only Thursday, but I don't need to work anymore, which means that I have to attend all kinds of appointments with all kinds of crazy people. Yeah. But that's fine, that's fine. I'm I'm doing fine. You know, it's all about uh, I don't know what it's all about, you know? quite content last time to call myself a philosopher. <laughs> I don't know why, why am I a philosopher? It seems like I'm missing something, you know what I mean? As I say, I'm an amateur philosopher. But that's not strictly true. I make these let's plays. <laughs> and that thought made me so happy. Yeah. Oh, man. Sometimes thoughts just make me so happy, and there's no accounting for it. There's no account for it, but this is why I like having a day off, you know, and then I can just enjoy these moments of, of cheerfulness. to be normal, you know, it's uh, really hard, you know, because people always overreact when you do something abnormal, you know, they always overreact, and that is why life is so scary, you know, it doesn't make any sense, you know. I mean, your life goes down the drain, you get helped, right? Um, because you uh, act out or something, right? But the... Uh, The reaction
reactions you get are always to things that were your pride and joy. Right, things that you uh, considered your livelihood. Those things are always that which people react to. But when you act out, nothing matters anymore, right? Everything just becomes a microscopic aspect of your colossal self, your giant, as, uh, what's his name again? Emerson called it. I suppose philosophers don't read Emerson, but, oh, I did not expect that. Philosophers don't read Emerson, but I'm not educated as a philosopher. Just like Nietzsche, I'm... Um, I followed a... Philolo philological... Studies, yeah. However, my philological studies did not really teach me slow reading, you know. I mean, they did teach you close reading, but they did not teach you slow reading. I suppose that's something from the good old days of philology. Philology. Such a weird word. But it doesn't matter. As we, as long as we, uh, challenges, right? We won't get hampered or hamstrung by uh, things that don't matter. Yeah. Oh my! Jafar's dark magic. I gotta go to the bathroom. Excuse me for one minute, please.
I'm enjoying myself. I always enjoy myself when I play, when I let's play Prince, you know. It's more than just playing a game for me. It's uh, almost like a therapeutic thing. Maybe playing games is therapeutic, you know. For all, most games these days are just occupational therapy. They're designed like occupational therapy. Oh. Come on, man. Just stop, stop your violence. Yeah, but, you know, wow, uh, this uh, extraordinary world in which we live is uh, certainly uh, full of scary things, right? thought all I needed to do was uh, get used to my job, you know, but now it turns out that I have to get used to something else as well, you know, uh, or I don't know, it turns out that I can still be out of my mind, even though I'm used to my job, isn't that crazy, it's like, It's like, I already have money, you know. So what more do you need? You know, I have money, come on. What more do you need? I suppose you need a fulfilling job or, or something. I never wanted a job, you know. I feel like I sold out somehow. And here I was evangelizing the uh, the merits of getting a job. It's just disappointing, you know. It's better than not having a job, I suppose. I mean, it's been a, it's a long process, you know, to get from no job at all to a job, you know, it's, it's a long process. And the process is very good. And of course the result is that you can keep a job, you know. But today I didn't really do my job very well. I left a few packages in front of people's doors, which is not something you're supposed to do. But I just really didn't feel like knocking on everyone's door. I mean, I delivered one package at the neighbor's house. But these other people, places, you know, it was just a one stupid package. And they didn't look like there was anyone at home. And I hope they don't uh, issue a complaint. Yeah. 
Whoa, we got him. He just fell backwards and tumbled into the abyss. He just fell over backwards. There's so many jobs that you can have, right? Yet they all seem monotonous in some way, and in many ways, in many ways, postman is mailman is is the uh, yeah, postman, right? Yeah, is the worst. Oh my god. It's the worst job you can have. Does anybody remember that movie? Uh, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. It was with, uh, like multiple stories. And one of them was an old guy who said, why would anyone in their right mind become an editor? I remember this. Of course, that's awfully specific. I don't know, it was a, it was a big movie when it came out. stories was a guy who who befriended a slave he was you know he was like a British gentleman and he befriended a slave story was set in the future with Tom Hanks. Yeah, I guess I guess I can just look up movies with Tom Hanks and I'll find it. It was also with Hal Berry. Cloud Atlas, that was the name. Cloud Atlas. <laughs> yeah. Cloud Atlas. 
Lost. Does anybody remember that movie? That was directed by the Wachowskis, it says here. I guess you can't say Wachowski brothers anymore, even if they were brothers at the time. But they don't say the Wachowski sisters, so that's... That's a thing, they're not Wachowski sisters forever. But it's, yeah, it's a bit unnerving, isn't it? It's like, I didn't know it was directed by the Wachowskis. Wachowskis, it sounds like a fake name almost. But yeah, who cares, okay. And we're dead. I don't believe this. Yeah, I mean, uh, making commentary is not a walk in the park. Still, I feel, I feel things that would have been, I mean, I feel things ought to be very easy, you know, kind of crazy. Writing is something you can do in your free time. It should be easy. It, it could be a hobby, you know what I mean? Anything that could be a hobby should be easy. Yeah. I mean, nobody goes delivering mail in his free time. still alive. Oh shit. Still, this is not so bad. We can just walk back and do it over again. But I did did already take that potion, yeah. Sprinkled with a little bit of sex and it's a potion. Is that a disgusting sign? music is uh, 
stimulating. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know if it's stimulating in a good or in a bad way. Yeah. And I'm also not sure if I like the music, which is, I suppose, a different question. I mean, not all music that you like has to be stimulating. Definitely not. I mean, stimulation is a negative word. It says that you're pricked, you know, all the time. Which is funny, because usually when we say stimulation, we mean, you know, incensed, we're incensed. scale of one to a hundred, you know, is essay your favorite word? You know, tell me, because it seems to me it's a really good word. I've always liked it. I always feel like it's just an invitation to really deep thoughts. <laughs> like, I'm always reminded of uh, Chairman Shen Ji Young's quotes from from uh, Sid Meier's Civilization. You know, Chairman Shen Ji Young is the leader of the human hive. these quotes that are uh, always about this dystopian world view that is meant to uh, make us shiver in sublime awe or something. <laughs> And uh, he says in one of these quotes, like, and uh, they're all from a fictional book, right? They pretend that Chairman Chen Jiang has authored all these abstruse tomes um, on these topics, and they have amazing titles like essays. On mind and matter. And always when I hear the word essay, I'm reminded of, uh, of that title, you know, Essays on Mind and Matter. You know, it, it just sounds so ponderous, you know, like he was really, like he really has deep thoughts, you know, and he wrote them down in this, Turgid way, you know. Essays on mind and matter.
Still, uh, a game of Prince of Persia is a lot like a route for the postal service, a mail route. Because uh, at some point you just know, like, I'm almost halfway there, you know. Uh, I mean, that's the weird thing about the post. Uh, you're always, like, gouging, like, do I still have to do a lot? You know, because at the start of the day, it's like you'll have this whole route ahead of you. And you just accept that there is a lot of work waiting for you, you know. But I don't know. <laughs> you just start counting, counting, like, do I still have much to do? Like the guy who uh, instructed me, you know, he, uh, he said, like, he would always, like, comment, like, uh, it's just one more bag, you know, or, uh, or uh, it's just one more street, you know, and always when he said it like that, you got a whole perspective on how much work you are actually doing. But when I'm walking the road myself, I can never quite estimate whether I'm almost done, you know. Not like he could. So I guess you can really get more experienced. You know, he was very experienced. Maybe he had a knack for mail delivery, you know. I'm sure that's possible. I certainly do not have a knack for it. Too slow, you know. Takes me a long time to get from A to B. Conversation, magic, commotion. Break a little, little bit of sex. It's a potion. <laughs> oh yeah, it's such a... It's such a visceral music. Uh, somatic. Such bodily music, yeah. <laughs> You know, I was thinking back of when I got into Taiwan, you know. It's like when, uh, I mean, I've been to Taiwan and uh, stayed there six months. You know, but when I got there, oh no, oh, why, why does this happen? This is what I'm saying, now it feels a lot like a mail route, because this is exactly how delivering mail goes.
think you're almost done and then suddenly there's a whole bunch more mail to be delivered. I mean, every street is like dying in in Prince of Persia, you know. But it ain't so bad. I think this is bad. This ain't bad. <laughs> That's from Slaughterhouse Five. Yeah. I read that book. It was it was uh, pleasant. I mean. I like to think I'm good at reading, but may I'm not, you know, I don't know. I mean, sometimes when I'm reading about stuff that I know something about, I can feel very relaxed, you know. Ooh, man, you have no idea how close we were to dying just now, but made it through. Now we're home free. Just one more level after this. You know, then that's exactly how it goes with with that guy from the mail, you know. So yeah, this game is a lot like delivering mail. I really think so. And this is why I feel like it has a kind of zen aspect to it. I mean, I tried more or less being zen today during my mail round because I, I get dizzy sometimes. Or I don't... I don't really get dizzy, but I get fits of dizziness, you know, uh, it's uh, complicated, but, uh, yeah, today I didn't really get them, but I also didn't get too tired, but, yeah, it was, uh, it was a hard day, uh, anyway, and you know, I tried being zen throughout it all, you know. Just not... Not being tied to anything, you know. I mean, this is kind of what zen is, you know. They, they like to say, like... Uh, it's like, you know, with the Tao, Taoism, Taoism says, like, the road that can be trodden, the road that you can point to, it's not the eternal road. The road that you can point to is not the eternal road, you know? So it is a little bit with uh, Zen, you know, it's like, They always say, like, there is no Dharma, you know. You just have to be, You just have to be, uh, you just have to let go, you know, and then you will see what the Dharma is or something, you 
that's kind of what Zen is. And See what they say about philosophy also, right? Shouldn't shouldn't know a little bit of philosophy, you should either know a whole lot or nothing at all. Yeah. Alright, we did it. The tyrant Jafar lies dead, his power shattered. Throughout the land, the people of Persia hail their princess and the brave youth who saved her from the forces of darkness. No longer a stranger, he shall from this day forth be known as Prince of Persia. We did not get a high score. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm glad we all got to share this Let's Play together. I thought it was uh, okay, you know. As I say, I'm, I'm really thinking a lot about my job, and I just want I just want to be free from uh, from this kind of uh, aggravation, you know. And and that's hard, you know. Uh, aggravation when I uh, I don't know anyway if you like this video you can click the like button if you have a comment on base of something I said you can leave a comment in the comment section and you can even subscribe to the channel though I don't know if I'll upload anymore but you never know right I could do it Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.